Because it's more popular than ever to buy pre-made coils, and because my next video is featuring an RDA that allows you to build series coils, I thought it would be appropriate to make a short video explaining resistance wire, the different materials, what the numbers mean, and the difference between single, parallel, and series coil. I'll put timestamps in the description for each section though. I'm going through the basics in this video, but it should be enough to give you a better understanding so you can build your own coils with a bit more confidence and also be able to tailor your vape experience a lot better with the coils that you're going out and buying. Don't worry though, you won't have to see my face in this video. Okay, so when it comes to materials, mostly used in vaping these days is Canthal, N80 and stainless steel, and that's as wire and mesh. So what's the difference? It's very difficult to tell visually, however they do act very, very differently depending on your needs, and so it's important to understand the differences. Canthal is the OG, it's dense and takes the longest to heat up out of the materials we're talking about today, but it also offers the highest relative resistance. Historically, it's been favoured by mouth to lung vapours and people needing a higher resistance without a massive coil, but that does make it ideal for a series mod, for instance. N80 has a higher nickel content and heats up much faster than Canthal, because of that it's often favoured by direct lung vapours, especially mechanical device users. If you have a nickel allergy though, this one is best to stay away from. Personally, I do get headaches and while nickel is also in something like stainless steel, the latter has a lower nickel content so I can vape it happily. Resistance will go up and down dependent on heat, but by no means to the same level as NI200. NI200 is a very different material to N80 and is mainly used for temp control and will rapidly increase or decrease in resistance due to it being hot or cold. This makes it ideal for temp control or replay DNA devices. This is historically a bit of a peak to work with and was very popular when temp control devices were quite the thing. Less so these days as stainless steel has taken its place. Stainless steel is an alternative to the NI200 as I mentioned, but it doesn't have as much nickel in there. The most popular version of stainless steel is 316, but 317 can be used. There is a slight difference in makeup, and I must admit I've not used 317, but maybe that's something we can talk about in a future 95% show. Let me know in the comments if you use 317 and what your thoughts are on it, and maybe I'll pick some up. Stainless steel will also fluctuate in resistance and so can be used in temp control and replay enabled devices. Personally, I use stainless steel a lot and prefer it, especially for mechanical mods. Again, stainless steel will heat up nice and quickly, so it means that when you do use it in a mechanical mod, it will heat up nice and sharpish and you don't have to purge a load. People often comment on the flavour differences between the different materials, and while it's subtle, I do believe that is the case. I believe that stainless steel produces a brighter flavour, which works well with fruit flavours, and Canthal a thicker flavour, a denser vape if you like, which works well for custards and creams. But as I said, the difference is very slight in my experience, and I'll leave that discussion for the comments section also. Okay, so let's talk about measurements. The wire thickness is incredibly important and is measured in two ways in metric, so in millimetres, and AWG, or American wire gauge. So for instance, 24 gauge or 24G is 0.5 millimetres. This can get confusing, and if you're just starting, I advise you to pick a side and go with AWG or millimetres and stick with it to start with at least. But learning both is definitely advantageous. When it comes to AWG measurements, 22 gauge is a much thicker wire than say 26 gauge, but has a lot less resistance. This means it'll be a lower ohm reading on the mod, however it can be more demanding on your battery. But because of that lower reading and higher temperature, and also the thicker wire allowing more wick coverage, that can be the reason why it's often favoured by mechanical mod users. That thicker wire though will mean that most users will purge before inhaling and that means blowing down on the wire and this allows it time to be able to build up its heat to allow full and ultimate cloudage. How different wire configurations change resistance? Here's an easy way to remember. Here we have a piece of wire that we're going to magically change to a fine example of a drinking straw. Using that straw, no matter how hard you suck, you can only move a certain amount of fluid from the glass into your mouth hole. If you want to drink more and faster, you have two options. 
One is to make that straw thicker to allow more liquid to pass through it, which is lowering the resistance. Or you can add another straw, which again lowers the resistance, so you can have twice as much as you could before. The thicker the straw, or the more straws you use, you'll have to suck harder because there's less resistance getting the beverage into your mouth. Anyone who's ever made a mega straw and put two or more straws together end to end will know that it takes way longer for the drink to travel to your mouth and is a lot harder work. And the reason for that is we've increased the straws resistance. By adding more straws, we've made the juice have to travel much further. And so the whole job of getting it from one end to the other is a lot harder work. This is how coil resistance works, but don't suck on a coil leg, that won't help at all. Okay, so now we know about the different materials, how do the types of coil change resistance? Once you know the difference between wire materials and resistance, we have to look at the types of coils we'll use. We'll pick a random resistance number here of 0.4 as the maths are easy. So let's look at a single coil. We'll use an example of a piece of 22 gauge canthal. Six wraps over a three millimeter driver will give us a resistance of 0.4. It's actually about six and a half wraps, but we'll round down for today. So a single coil, 22 gauge, six wraps over three millimeter is a resistance of 0.4 ohms. Okay, so what happens if we use a dual coil? As we looked at before with the straws, if you use two of these coils in parallel, so each coil comes out of the positive and negative posts of the atomizer, the resistance will be half of the single coil. So one coil is 0.4, but two coils would come out at 0.2 ohms. Okay, so how does that change with series coils? Series builds have seen a couple of names in the past and made in different ways. However, this means one of two things, two coils made on the same piece of wire or the use of a neutral post in an atomizer. The neutral post is neither positive nor negative and transfers the current from one coil to another. Similar to how a bridge in a mod works between the positive and negative points of batteries in a series mod or most dual cell regulated mods. Using the same example as before, it would mean that a 0.4 coil now doubles, so the opposite of a parallel coil and becomes a resistance of 0.8 ohms. Congratulations if you've made it this far. Hopefully you've learned something new and we've covered the resistance wire aspects we looked at, the different materials, the numbers, as well as the differences between single, parallel and series coils. Hopefully you've learned a little bit and you can move that forward with your coil building in the future. Obviously we haven't touched on Claptons and all that kind of stuff, but at least we've looked at the main types of wire with Canthel, N80 and stainless steel. Obviously there are some others as well, but now you should know a little bit more than when you started. For the next episode, if you want us to look into things like Claptons and actual coil building, please do let me know down below. Thanks for watching.